Hello everyone, today we'll be building very simple crypto tracker using Q cryptocurrency API coin gecko. Without further ado, we will skip to the Visual Studio code. So I mean your ID and inside that ID, you should run your terminal. Okay, so I go new terminal and right there, I need to npm init dash y to initialize my application, my node application. Whenever it's ready, I should create index.js file over there and also install some dependencies. So npm install, I will need Axios to fetch data, EJS to show that data and Express to create easily the server for node.js. Okay. Wait a few seconds and right now we need to, first of all, const express equals require express. And with that, we initialize, we import our module. I mean express. Also, we need to import our axios. So require axios, axios. Okay. We've got express and axios. Right now we need to initialize our application. So counts up equals express, sorry, express. The next thing that we'll need, create some port, for example, 3000. And the last, the last thing that we'll need to do is app that set to set our EJS as our view engine. So view engine, view engine is EJS. Okay. And right there, we'll get app.get and here we'll only need one route. I mean the main route and right there we'll make async function request response and we will just try to make our magic happen over here. And to make it work, we need first of all to get try catch block. If you are wondering how it's working, you of course can go to the explore docs over here, wait a second, and right there you've got a lot of API calls that you can get. In our case, we will be using coins market without any API key. It will be very usual. You will see all of the cryptocurrency that will show for example, in currency that we'll have to, in our case, it will be USD. You can change to whatever you would like to. So going back to our application, we need, first of all, to get the response, response, and to there await Axios and get the response from going back, scroll there, and we will need the response from our coins markets. So. It's like HTTPS, HTTPS, slash, slash, API, that coin, go, that com, API, slash, v3. And we've got coins, markets, coins, slash, markets. And of course, you can find out what you can get and what, what parameters you can pass over here. If you would like to, for example, get a currency, what currency you would like to have, of course, you can make some kind of orders. You can limit them. You can get how many per page. You can get the language, of course. There are a lot of things that you can just create over here. Of course, price change percentage, and you can get what price uh, changes you would like to save. It's up to you what you would like to have. If you would like to have the same result as I, you can follow along and you will get what I've got. And right there, I will get params. Over here, I've got VS currency. It will be USD. The next thing that we'll just get, we'll get, of course, for example, order. And our order will be market cap descending over here, that one. Okay, going back, we'll make order and over here, we'll copy and paste over here that. We'll limit it 
will make language, would like to have English. What else we can do? We can just create spark line, include spark line. Okay, that will be very useful for us in that case. And we we'll use that all sales call. And the last thing, price change percentages. And we'll make it as 24 hours. And we've got our request done and it will assign to the response over here. If everything will go okay, we need to create res.render and we can call it prices. Of course, we'll pass their coins and it will be response.data coins because it's crypto coins over here as a currency that we are going to use as a main thing. If something go wrong, we'll just return status 500 and it will be sent, filed to fetch data. And the last thing that we'll need over here is app that listen, listen on port, port and we'll just return console.log working. Okay, we've got everything's done. Whatever we're talking about, our main JS part. Right now, we need to create EJS file. So, as always, we create views as a folder, and inside that views, we make prices.ejs. And inside that prices.ejs, we create the HTML document. Of course, we will start with some kind of changes. We can, for example, create crypto tracker, save it, and right there inside our body, we will make some kind of H1 crypto cryptocurrency prices, and we will be using old table to create that. So table, each table should have table head. So I mean, that's the main row of each table. And of course, each of them should have the body. So the table body. And in that, we'll need some kind of tables. I, it will be name. Of course, we'll need three more. We'll need symbol. We'll need price in USD. We'll also need changes in 24 hours. And that's all that we need over here. And right down inside our T-body, we'll need to create, sorry, I also need table row over here. Whoa, I don't need you. I need table row over here. Save it over here. Here, 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 here. Oh, not here, here. Okay, everything is saved. Right now also I will need table row and inside the table, table row, I will create some kind of table, table with data. And to do that, we need to iterate through our coins that we just passed over here. So we'll just create something like hash coins that for each and there we'll make coin for each coin and of course we will close it over there with the percentage sign and closing bracket of course after table row we will need percentage sign of of course over there as well save it okay like that and inside our table rows we'll create we've got table heads for so we will need for as well over here. And to make it even simpler, we'll create something like that. So we pass the variable, I mean coin date name that we'll just receive and copy that three times. We also need coin that symbol. We also need current price. And the last thing that we will need is price change 
percentage 24 hours because that's what we wanted from our price change percentage over here of course that's all we can save it node index.js look if everything's working it should going back reload and we've got our cryptocurrency prices over here and everything's working as it should so if you would like to enjoy and create something more we can create of course some kind of draft chart with the cryptocurrency changes you can just write down in the comments and it i will just record it for you and that will be all for today lessons i hope you like it enjoy and see you at the next episode bye